Making the announcement at a media conference, ICT Minister Stanley Simata made it clear that the announcement should not be confused with the pending applications for fishing rights. There are fishing rights that are still valid and fishing activity continues. What we have looked at is exactly those fishing rights that are still valid that are not subject to this new rights granting process that still needs to be finalized. We know it has taken some time, but we want to engage in this thorough due process so that it can be concluded fairly and squarely, and then the outcomes you know, will be announced. I know it has taken some time. No, we, we will tell you when the time comes. Cabinet also approved a total allowable catch of 180 metric tons for rock lobster, a species that still needs to recover. Because you don't determine, you know, tonnage that will end up depleting, you know, the results. So it's 180 metric tons, you know, for rock lobster, because that resource still from the assessment that was done is a little bit depressed. At the media conference, Simata also announced that Cabinet has approved Namibia's accession to the International Convention for the Control and Management of Ship Ballast Water and Sediments 2014. The instrument protects the marine environment from the transfer of invasive aquatic organisms in a ship's ballast water. So when you have got foreign pathogens, coming into our marine ecosystem, there is a likelihood that our mariculture industry may end up you know, being destroyed. Now, this is why this you know, uh, accession to uh, this uh, particular instrument as part of the you know, law of the sea is very, very important. Francis Shahama, NBC News, Ventuk.